Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at opportunities we had in gold today. We had this channel break, was the first trade that we had this morning. Because when we came into the room, which was right here at 7 o'clock, we had been in this channel with, with a slight upward bias, but in this channel all the way back here at 3 o'clock. So we've been inside this small range for a little over four hours. We put in a pivot, pulled back, we put in our channel lines, and then we were just waiting for a breakout. We we had a hint that it might break to the upside because we were making higher lows inside this channel. But that's the thing about these wrinkle bars. Sometimes uh, if price is making small range moves, you don't get a lot of bars. But this little area right here represents over four hours of consolidation. And the longer we consolidate, the greater the chance for a bigger move is. So just as the gold uh, ghost pit was getting ready to open, we broke out of our channel. The channel high was 1881.40. So our entry was 1881.50. Our initial target was 1886.20. So our initial run, we hit uh, pretty easily, a, a fairly quick $400 per contract. Our second target was up at 1889.70. And if you traded up to there, you had the potential to get $800 per contract. And then gold pulled back, made a pivot. It wasn't a lower pivot low. Our previous pivot low was back here. And then we put in a lower pivot high gold at this point had gotten really extended on the 30 minute chart and we were significantly overvalued three bars in a row at this point and so we had the pivot put in the lower pivot high and triggered the trend reversal breakout to the downside now typically not as interested in these when they go into the cloud and into the smooth 50 but this particular case we were extremely um, overvalued on our 30 minute value charts and we we're looking for a pullback at that time so we're able to enter this one that was would have been good for up to five hundred dollars per contract if you traded that the more conservative trade would have been to wait for the break of the cloud to pull back and then take the wick off the 18 that would have been good for four hundred dollars per contract and at this point we were starting to get extended to the downside and we were making bullish divergence so really weren't interested in these trades right here because, again, we were extended already to the downside and we were forming bullish divergence. We got the pullback, set up the fast line zero touch, fast line being the fast line on MQ momentum. And again, you can see in momentum, even though we were pushing lower, price wasn't confirming this or momentum wasn't confirming the movement in price. We finally pulled back, made a momentum reset, set up the fast line zero touch, and triggered that to the downside. That would have been good for another $400 per contract. Same thing, you were making divergence, and we were extended to the downside by this point. So really weren't doing anything with this. And then later in the day, in fact, this move is still underway, you had the trend reversal breakout back the other direction. You see, we put in a down, up, or an up down up pattern which is a bullish chart pattern triggered to the upside put in the pivot wasn't higher pivot high the previous pivot high was back here put in the higher pivot low and have broken out back to the upside and this has been a nice strong move back in the other direction that trend reversal breakout triggered in at 1874 and it's called 1875 is your, would have been your entry. And you'd be up currently $700 per contract right now. And this trade's still going. So several really nice opportunities uh, trading gold today.